Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about contemporary techniques for performers and we're going to talk about jet whistle. Jet whistles are the like really loud rushes of air that are actually quite common in a lot of contemporary music now. Uh, they sound like this. And they are really not that difficult to learn how to do because it's just really fast air into the flute. A lot of people discover this sound because it's a similar technique to what we use to warm up a cold instrument. It's blowing air directly into the flute, probably with all of the keys down, and if you blow enough fast air into the flute, it's going to hit that jet whistle sound. It's not going to be as in control as a really good one, obviously, but the general idea is fast air into the flute, it ends up like catching this harmonic series and making that really cool whooshing sound. The difficulty in practicing this particular technique is you are basically emptying your lungs into the flute over and over. And if you think about that, that's basically forced hyperventilation and that's not good for you. I had a colleague at a music festival who was playing a piece that had a bunch of really intense jet whistles right in a row for quite a long time, and she got lightheaded and almost passed out because she was being asked to do this so much. So definitely listen to your body, be very, very careful about how much you're practicing this particular technique and how often, just because it is a very difficult thing. It's true even once you're practice and are good at it. Like I started recording this video probably about 10 minutes ago, so I've done a few takes of this and I'm already kind of feeling like I need to pull back. So that's a pretty good indication of how intense this sound is. The best way to practice it is just to try to do it. I, there's really no specific technique. It's all about how your air and your flute interact and luckily there's a very distinct auditory signal when you get it right. If you're not getting enough fast air through the flute, it's gonna sound more like this. You can hear it's a whooshing sound, it kind of sounds eerie, but it doesn't really have that intense whooshing sound that jet whistles are meant to. If you're not getting your air fast enough quick enough, it's gonna be more It's gonna hit that point. And the lead-in is sometimes good, sometimes composers want that, but you also want to be able to just start them immediately because a lot of times composers want them on downbeats or they want them to be accents that start on a specific time. And so having the control to know exactly how fast your air needs to start is very, very helpful, or at least how much lead-in you need to give it to get your air to start immediately. If you can't get them always to start immediately, then that's fine, but it's something that you have to know about your playing, but that way you can effectively integrate these sounds into musical ideas. And that's the big thing, is these videos break these techniques down into away from the music, like, building block ideas, and that's how you have to build them, but with this one, it's not really anything unless it's within a musical context, unless it's just a sound effect otherwise. Some of these techniques can be used on their own and they can create musical ideas and obviously Jet Whistle is a musical idea, but it's also kind of a sound effect if you don't use it per correctly and that means that we also are required to know how to use it correctly. My best advice for practicing this technique in terms of like time frame and how much you should be working on it is like a minute or two every couple days. It's not that difficult once you're starting to work on it to kind of get it going. And again, I've been t filming this video for a few minutes now and I know I have more control than I did when I started. I'm getting them a little better just because I haven't played them in a while and the practice I've gotten trying to film this has let me get it back up. So it's not something that you can leave for all that long, but again, it's so taxing that you do have to be very careful. A lot of times composers will ask you to start on a specific note, and the basically what you do is you figure that note and you blow air through the flute. Keep in mind that the shorter the tube and that the more keys that you have open, the harder it's gonna be. It's very hard to do an effective jet whistle on a C sharp just because the tube is only this long. Uh, it's really easy to do it on a low C because the tube is this long. <laughs> um, 
the longer the air has to go, the more sound you're gonna get. You're also gonna get more resistance, so it's gonna be physically harder on you, but the sound is gonna be way better. One of the things that I talk to composers about a lot is if they want a specific pitch or if they just want the sound. And if they just want the sound, I'm gonna pick a fingering that I'm most comfortable with. And if they want a specific pitch, then I'll do my best to start on that pitch. But it's something of technique over specific sound, which do the composer prefer? And both are valid choices. Yeah, uh, that's basically jet whistle. It's really not that complicated of a technique. It's air, blow air through a tube. <laughs> um, I will say I do aim my air a little bit now that I'm better at it. I kind of try to create an arch and so it's more of a uh, but that's just an artistic idea and it's more something that I use in my own music and in my own creation just because they're my sounds and I get to do what I want with them. But that's something that you can add into the mix once you're comfortable creating the sound. You can kind of manipulate them a little bit more, create higher points higher or lower, and do more of an arch shape rather than it just being this rush of air. So yeah. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys like it, give it a like. If you're new here, subscribe. If you want to support me more, check out my Patreon. I've revamped all the tiers and I'm doing a lot more there, so that's really cool. And I will see you guys next week.